day. It was nice to wake up to the sunshine. This is the view over Elon University where we had rain and wet sidewalks to start the day, but then plenty of sunshine and notice the breeze out there too. It actually felt pretty good if you spend any amount of time outdoors today. Not terribly hot, not terribly humid. The temperatures in the upper 80s at southwest wind at about 10 miles an hour. You've got 85 in Ashboro and Lexington, 86 in Greensboro and Winston Salem. And yeah, rain soaked ground. Take a look at the rainfall totals across the area over Alamance, Randolph, Guilford. That late day rain, some two to three inches of rain fell. Also earlier in the day, we had an area of showers and thunderstorms, a line that just sort of kept developing over the same areas that put down one to two inches and in some spots three to four. So we have gotten beneficial rains and we didn't have too much in the way of flooding. So that's good news as anticipated down east. That's where some of the higher totals were at four to six inches near that point of landfall there near Wilmington. You can see the storm as it pushed north and east very quickly. In fact, it was over the border of Virginia by about eight o'clock this morning and has been moving up the coast ever since. Strong winds, of course, along our coastline. We had some peak gusts in that 80 to 90 range. Most of the gusts that I've been seeing down east have been in the 60 to 70 mile per hour range. Federal Point topped out at 99, Oak Island at 87, Wilmington 74, Wrightsville Beach at 69. We had 71 at the pier at Duck, Manio along the Outer Banks, or just before the Outer Banks at 68, 69 at Hatteras. And you can see not only wind, but rain report reports, tornado reports, and yes, wind reports. We had a few tornado reports down in the Wilmington area, moving northward a few also just north of Greenville, just northwest of Plymouth, that tornado in Windsor in this area, and then all the wind damage right on up the eastern seaboard. For us tonight, it's pretty quiet. We're going to see those winds lay down a little bit. We do have a few showers kind of rolling through. We've had isolated lightning with this, but nothing real impressive, and we're not anticipating severe weather. Yakinville, you've got a little downpour here. This is getting ready to move over Highway 601. Some showers along 52 between Pilot Mountain and King, and there's a little flash of lightning there just north of Mayadan on Highway 220 near the Price community. So we'll keep this in the mix for the evening. It'll be spotty, maybe early overnight, even for the triad. By tomorrow morning, it's partly cloudy. Our temperatures are in the low 60s in the mountains. That's nice. Low 70s across the triad. By lunchtime tomorrow, we've got the clouds building again. We'll see a few showers develop. I think most of the rain tomorrow is up against the mountains, so scattered showers and storms in the mountains, isolated ones across the triad, and the best rain chance for the triad is likely going to be late tomorrow night. So you're looking at only a 30% chance by late day with a high of 88, 86 in the foothills, 40% coverage of showers and storms, and temperatures will probably top out around noon in the mountains in the upper 70s and then drop off as we do have showers and thunderstorms around. Our seven day forecast will show you better rain chances Thursday and Friday. Fridays look to be late day, so do Saturdays, and they are more isolated over the weekend.